ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obadah Potato. This is Hearts of Iron 4 together for victory. Um, we've had a couple of little setbacks in our uh, anti-Portuguese shenanigans, but we're currently constructing a airbase in Southwest Africa, which we should be able to deploy planes to, which theoretically will be able to get us information in this area, which will allow us to conduct our naval invasion, which will allow us to walk up and fuck up Portugal over here, and might allow us to do another naval invasion over to there, but I'm kind of doubtful about that. Uh, that's why we're building submarines. Submarines which should give us intel on all of the areas that uh, that are around. Uh, you, we have six planes, fuck me. Can we actually get you to go into Gulf of Guinea? I don't, I don't actually know if that's going to be allowed. Landing craft, however, has been has been upgraded. That we can now take a whole bunch more troops with us if we want to. Can we not? Can we not equip to this area? Fuck. That's a little bit annoying. I was hoping beyond hope that we would be able to do that, but it seems like that's not a possibility for us. Looks like we're gonna have to rely on the good old, the good old submarines to really come through for us. Research is done. Let's get some more research on the on the go. Uh, brand carrier. Do I really care about brand carrier? Anti tank research. Let's do that. Outdated equipment in production. Yes, we could probably upgrade that uh, and take down our steel even further. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. That's fine. That's not a problem. It's just upgrades that we're working on right now. Fuck, that's so annoying. When's our first submarine done production? It must be soon, right? Ah, it's already done. Fantastic. Let's get you to... Current engagement, fire at will. Do not engage. What are the rules for this? Alright, I want you to patrol... Fuck, I always click the wrong button. I always click left click instead of right click. There we go. Let's let's get you to go on patrol over here, and then that should be enough intel. We should be able to launch our naval invasion. Gulf of Guinea. We're so close to getting intel on this. We can go for it, right? We've got intel. Or cover the area with radar. <laughs> no. Look, we've got we've got all the information that we need. We've got all we've got all the information that we need. Oh god, it wasn't destroyed, was it? it was I think it was destroyed. How? How could you have been destroyed? You were For fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. This is why submarines are a major pain in the ass. This is why fucking boats are a major pain in the ass. Jesus Christ. Okay, so basically... Basically, it's not looking like we're going to be able to take out Portugal without fucking marching up there ourselves and fucking some, somebody's shit up. Um, which is... very annoying. Wait, you're here. This isn't the new one, is it? Is this the new one? No, don't fire at will. Do not engage. This must be a new one. Never repair, repair net, no. Go to this area. Don't do any convoy escorting, don't do anything like that. Just, just gonna mash this button as soon as we get into this area. Uh, nope, instantly, instantly fucked by those submarines. Wow, okay. That is unbelievably challenging. Uh. That that is that is unbelievably challenging. Okay. Um, apparently, believe it or not, we are not very stealthy. Even though I invested a little bit in stealth, uh, it turns out that we are not the stealthiest uh, at constructing submarines. Unbeknownst to me, I thought that we were going to be a hell of a lot more stealth than that. But what can you do, right? Uh, you chaps are over there. You chaps are over here. You guys should get together and form, you know, like some sort of an army or something. I'm going to put some people around this area. 
Because I have a funny feeling that we're not going to be able to reach Portugal in time, as much as we have tried. Next level of submarine is taking an awfully long time. Let's, let's actually go for submarine warfare. Uh, reduce ahead of time penalty. Sure. Gains provincial elections. Oh, British will never stand for it. I don't even know where this is, but sounds good to me. I think we're going to have to uh, invade the British territories and also Belgium. But I, I would love to do this with uh, the communists on my side, but hey-ho. Belgium. Belgium is going to go down. I have no doubt about that. Belgium is going to go down. It's just how much is it going to kick and scream on the way out? Is Italy at war with the Nazis? No. How did they manage to get this territory then? Did they give control of a state? That seems a little bit unnatural. Uh... Turkey has capitulated. That's good, I guess, for everyone. That is that is quite nice. That is quite nice. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go for this invasion here, I think. But the problem is, is that there's probably going to be a little bit of a sneaky invasion uh, done by the British on Mozambique or Angola, and. They currently have literally zero army between them. I say zero army. 19% attrition. That that must feel bad, man. Yeah, we can't. We can't invade there. Even with, like, more submarines, we just, we just can't invade. We just, we just can't do it. I feel that this, this is maybe a little bit ridiculous because we're just throwing time and effort and energy at this deep, big, dark hole that is navies, but I don't think we really have a choice, right? Like, I just don't think we have a choice. I didn't think that the Portuguese navy would be up to much, but apparently they are. Who'd have thought? Halifax, that's quite nice that we got that. That's a that's a, a pretty long-distance plane, which we may be able to build and make something better, but... Uh, sorry, make something better. Be able to... Be able to make this work, but... Mm, I'm, I'm sort of doubtful. I think we just invade. I think that this is perhaps the riskiest moment, but I'm going to call our allies. Uh, we're going to go to war with, with Belgium. Yep. Cape Commune has declared war on Belgium. Honestly, what did you expect, buddy? Like, we need we need to do it. We need to do it. Okay, we need to... If Britain doesn't come into this war, then we're lucky, but I think they will. There's no reason not to, right? I mean, we are, like, former former allies or whatever, but I don't know how much that, that counts for in the world of Hearts of Iron. Um, so I'm going to prep you guys. Uh, duh, duh, duh. I'm going to prep you guys to go up there. If that would work, then that would be great. Uh, you are going to come down and have a front line here. Yep. Yep, thought so. Thought that we'd be at war with the British now. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Portugal joined the Allies. Well, at least it's now one big combined war, right? Yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Good stuff. Two wars have been merged. Great. Didn't really want that to happen, but it did. Great. Great, great, great. So let's uh, equip you guys to this one. Get you all over there. Get rid of this naval order. Get rid of all fucking naval orders. Fuck naval orders. Uh, you should not be wanting to attack. Yes, fine. Whatever. Call whoever you want. Inferior enemy. Let's push in. Let's do it. If we can if we can make some headway in Belgium. Uh, in Belgium. It's, well, it's not Belgium. It's Congo. If we can make some headway in Congo, that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm kind of doubtful that we're going to be able to make much meaningful headway. But it's always worth a crack, right? It's always worth a crack. So Portugal has managed to somehow get something over there, so uh, good on them, I suppose. We're at war with France now? No, we're not actually at war with France. That's quite nice. But Belgium is 100% of the way towards capitulation, which is which is great. Um, let's go. Let's resume. Let's let's see what happens. Dominion of Canada. What I'm worried about is getting navally invaded. That's that's what I really worry about, because that is definitely going to happen. Non-aggression pact from Turkey? Sure. Where is this? British... Malaya? B 
British Malay is this like Malaysia? Oh, I didn't I didn't realize that that was a thing. I, I'm you know what? I'll, I'll take that. That's that's quite interesting. I learned something today. All right, you guys are gonna get fucked up, please. Uh, what does that show up as? Why is it purple? What the hell? Is that what Congo is? Oh no, that's that's <laughs> that's our color. That's our color. We are gonna form Congo though, so that's uh, that's something to bear in mind. Um, unfortunately, we're gonna be beating a lot of the Allied troops in this area, which kind of disturbs me a little bit. I, I'm not I'm not exactly anti-ally or anything like that. That's not really what I'm interested in. Um, let's start attacking in because I think that it looks like the enemy is inferior in this area. So it looks like we can we can uh, we can make some gains while everyone's still sort of shuffling about and f fucking with their feet. The fall of Rome hasn't that happened already? I mean, the good thing is that United, the United Kingdom is invading literally everyone but me, navally. At least for now. That's reassuring. Uh, Portugal has still got a big fuck-off fleet. I've got six planes in my entire in my entire army. Oh, no, sorry. Now it's, now it's zero. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Six was just, you know, it was six too many, quite frankly. So I'm really glad that I managed to get rid of them all. Um, but just think... As soon as we win this war, which <laughs> is totally going to happen, I mean, it might. You know, as soon as it, as as soon as we we push our advantage, I guess, um, then it's going to be really interesting because the United Kingdom is going to have to fight against Germany as well. So it's going to be hella interesting, hella interesting for sure. I'm not going to move these troops here because they're guarding against Portugal. And I'm not going to move these troops here because they're also guarding against Portugal. And whoever the hell else wants to invade me. Which is quite a lot of people, as I take it. Uh, oh. A little bit of a freeze here. I'm going to give it a little bit of time. Oh, peace conference calculating effects. Oh, shit. Okay, all right, so that happened. I've not actually seen that ever happen before The Soviet Union does not exist anymore and The Soviet Union capitulated You know what I would I wish there was like an option to just like ask for peace like right now if I could ask for peace right now that would be great because quite frankly I don't I don't think that I would be fighting this war if I knew that the Soviet Union was going to capitulate second Brazilian Republic what happened to the first Brazilian Republic um are you a fan of me I'm gonna improve relations uh, I'll improve relations with you well, all that, all the, all the hope that we have left now is in this African Union. That's all the hope that we have left. That's all the possible hope that we can have. It's, it's all in the African Union. It's all in the fucking African Union. Synthetic oil, uh, no, don't really care about that. Uh, resource gain efficiency, sure, I'll get some resource gain efficiency. National focus, I guess we probably care about submarines or whatever. Add three coastal forts, anti-submarine tactics, or prepare overseas offensive. And we need to strengthen our own coasts. I think that's the issue here. Uh, you, buddy, are going to start... In fact, you've already got a battle plan. Let's just engage your battle plan. There we go. Yes, I'm... I mean, I'm not worried about Germany because they haven't actually done anything to me yet, but... It's just a little bit unfortunate that they, had, that they had to do so well, you know? It's just not very good for us. Portugal's fucking up Mozambique. Good stuff. I mean, it's not Portugal, it's the UK, but whatever. Same difference, right? Maybe those anti-tank rifles will make some sort of a difference. Maybe they won't. Who knows? Uh, radar station? Yeah, that's not happening. Nuclear power? 
that that probably should happen actually research time that should definitely happen let's get that let's get that done there's not a research slot available i just filled it fantastic i'm i'm confident to a certain degree right like we shouldn't underestimate our own our own potential we we certainly have potential it's just whether we have enough troops enough willpower enough resources to continue this war against what is literally half the world at this point i say half the world uh, a very significant chunk of the world however that significant chunk of the world is still technically at war with germany so that's quite nice that's quite nice different ideology yeah we're not we're not very friendly, me in Germany. Although it's nice to know that he would give me military access. So I think that that's quite, uh, that's quite nice. It's very nice of him. All right. It's a, it's a, it's a dirty war, but it seems to be working remarkably well. The problem is, of course, going to be manpower. Uh, manpower we're a little bit low on, but it's okay. We've got a lot of political power. We can bump it up to the next level of mobilization should we really need to. Um... United States joined the Allies. Just wait, wait for them to be called in. Please don't 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 be called in. Fuck! Fuck. 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 Oh my god. You didn't have to call America in. That's overkill. That's overkill. That's... Fuck. Fuck. Now we need to get our steel from somewhere else. I guess it'll be the fucking Nazi Reich. German Reich. Whatever. Oh, Jesus Christ. The Philippines joined the eyes. Who the f- Somebody join me! Somebody- Oh man? You wanna join me? Nah, you're not- you're not fucking keen, are you? Is anyone a communist that wants to come into my- Come into my alliance? We have a war that they will be drawn into. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. U-class? Sure, let's get a U-class submarine. Oh, God damn it! Look, I am, I am, I am, I am liberating, liberating everyone in Africa, liberating people. Nobody wants to fucking help me. The fucking United States, the biggest anti-imperialist. Oh, whoa! What the fuck? Where, where even was Vichy France? Is it Vichy France? Did they even have any territory? I don't fucking know. Was it down? It was probably down there, I imagine. Yeah, it was. It was down here. Oh, that's fucking great, isn't it? That's just fucking great. Why does nobody want to join me on my anti-colonialist agenda? That What's so bad about just, like, wanting to get rid of colonies? Also, uh, the more territory that I sort of take, or the more territory that Belgium takes from, uh, from Italy, with whom I am not actually at war, uh, then that's, that's great, actually. That's great. I'm going to improve my relations with Italy. I'm also going to improve my relations with the uh, with the Nazis. I don't really want to get into bed with the Nazis, but I'm glad that I'm glad that we're close to a non-aggression pact with them. That would be lovely. Uh, civilian factories, synthetic refinery. Can't build any more levels. We're pretty much maxed out at everything. I suppose we could build some naval forts, right? Build naval forts. Let's build like shit tons of them. Because we need them. Outdated equipment is in production. Ah, submarines need to be bumped up to the submarine Mark II's, the T class. That's grand. Uh, don't lose 32 thingies of production. Just like finish this one. And then we can upgrade. Cannot deploy? Why not? Insufficient manpower. 
All right, I guess this is probably a good opportunity to bump on up a uh, conscription from extensive conscription to service by requirement. It's not ideal, but it's it's what we have to do, I'm afraid. We get 300,000 manpower to play around with. Again, it's not ideal, but we'll have to take it. All right, good. Let's get an upgrade on you, T-class submarine. We don't have enough steel. We're going to have to sacrifice another civilian factory to trade. That uh, That's annoying. I don't care if it's with Germany. I really don't. I'm, I'm not a Nazi, but at the same time, if the UK is going to... going to fuck around and call America into the war, I might as well be, right? No divisions in basic training. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Things are actually going remarkably well. Um, soon we'll be able to form Zimbabwe. Very soon, as soon as we take this area. What about Botswana? Botswana should be, it should be allowed to form right now, right? Don't know why it's not forming. But it should be allowed to form. Zimbabwe will be forming, presumably, quite soon as well. Yeah, all of these are uh, states belonging to Zimbabwe. Mozambique, it's a core state for you. That's fine. I guess we just need to take a little bit more territory or whatever. But pretty successful so far, actually. Uh, let's delete your attack order, because I'm not convinced that that's actually the best one for you. I want you to head all the way up to here, actually. Which is a big, big ask, believe it or not, but yeah, I think it's I think it's entirely possible for us to do. Alright, let's resume. Yes, you're gonna head in here. Where the hell are you even going? Like I think we probably just like merge you into there now. Yeah, that's fine. These three troops are just chilling out over here. Uh, they don't really need to be in an army, to be honest. They can just they can just be there. But I guess they're in an army, so who really cares? Uh, we're not actually winning this battle over here. That that troubles me. That troubles me. As soon as we start to see U.S. forces on the ground here, then I I I'm gonna start shitting my pants. It's gonna get really really dodgy for us. Really really dodgy. Uh, Non-aggression pacts. Italy is likely to accept communist pressure. Strengthen the garrison artillery. Fantastic. Great. Anti-submarine tactics. Still don't have 50 factories yet. Demand Madagascar? Alright, we can actually do it. Because, of course, they're not... Um, they're not communist, they're fascist. Denmark has capitulated. All right, well, we might be able to get Madagascar, but France doesn't even control it. That's going to be a really interesting interaction to see if uh, if France actually gives us that. I don't think they will, uh, but hey-ho. I don't really give a shit about Madagascar, I'll be completely honest. I would rather secure a non-aggression pact from Italy. I don't really want to get declared upon, being completely honest. The Quit India Movement. India calls for independence. Ooh, yet another doomed attempt at freedom. Um, there's no way that I can support your independence, right? Only guarantee communist nations. Well, speak of the devil, buddy. You look like you need a little helping hand to communist. Let the hand of communism come down and touch you in all the right places. That's right. I said it. Oh, look. Here they are. Here the fucking Americans are. There's Marines. There's always fucking American Marines. Jesus Christ. Well, at least they've not arrived in the north east, never, east, east of Africa. At least they've not arrived in the east of Africa yet. That's quite nice. That's, that's reassuring to say the least, but we are at war with half the world. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. The only one that I really care about is the United States. It's the only thing that really annoys me. Mozambique is halfway towards capitulating, and it doesn't even have a fucking troop. Like, could you not build troops? Like, I gave you, like, three years, dude. Like, come on. 
Yep, okay, so here the Americans are. They've arrived in the east of Africa. It's gonna pretty much stop my advance, I suspect. Yeah. Good stuff there. Good, good stuff there. There is no way that we can reasonably form Botswana, is there? I don't think so. They don't exist yet. And I think the only reason that they can exist is through a pop-up. The U-Class submarines, fantastic. Can I get the next one? 1944. We are a little bit ahead of time. So I'm not going to do that. Um, submarine surface detection. No, I want, I want to be silent underwater. How do I do that? Submarine organization. Submarine surface detection. I guess I'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. And fingers crossed that'll work for us. Uh, U-Class, let's get it. We can't actually upgrade anything, because of course we can't. 19 days of production. Yeah, fuck it. Eight a year. God, so like one a month. Less than one a month, actually. Nationalist Spain joined the Axis. Okay. That is going to be interesting. Because nationalist Spain technically have a little place on this uh, on this mainland here in Africa. Um, I say that. I don't think it's going to be interesting at all. They're going to get crushed. They're going to get absolutely fucking wrecked. Oh, Portugal is going to get wrecked, though. And you know what? That brings me a lot of fucking happiness. That brings me so much happiness. Fuck Portugal. Fuck you for not getting out of the war sooner. Fuck you, Portugal. Fuck you. Fuck you. Jesus Christ, this is dire. Lancaster seems very mean to use the Lancaster against the British. This is war, though, isn't it? This is this is war. Oh God! Nuclear power. Let's get it. I do want nuclear power. I want to nuke someone. Why? Because that might be the only way that we actually win the fucking war. We've not been invaded down here yet, which is a absolute miracle. Our submarines, though, are now pretty fucking worthless. Sub-Saharan Africa. Oh, we've got... We don't have any air control over there. Any air superiority in this area. Yeah, not surprising. Not surprising in the slightest. That's probably why we're going to end up losing a bunch of... The fall of Gibraltar? I mean... That's not a significant development. That's just... That's just... It's just standard stuff, you know? Yeah, well, our manpower is fine for now, but it's going to start getting really shit really soon. The only reason that I feel we're actually doing okay is because we've got decent military equipment, um, and even then, we're still working on the upgrades, so it's not exactly in a great, a great place there. We're not managing to win the attack into here because we do not have oh no no we are attacking from multiple directions but we don't have the end uh, the air superiority which is quite annoying we also have no trucks to talk of ireland joined the allies all right that's that happened that happened um the united kingdom is called ireland uh, south african belgian war that's the stupidest shit. That's the stupidest name for a fucking war I've ever heard. At least we're going to get nuclear power. Liberia joined the Allies. Come on, Liberia. Really? Fuck you. Fuck you, Liberia. Jesus Christ. Uh, Italy? Yep, there we go. We're quite friendly with this chap, actually. Jesus Christ, why the hell is everyone joining the Allies? Why are there no communists? Fuck's sake. I'm not even... I'm not even against the Germans here. I'm not even against the Germans. Demand Madagascar. Oh, France yields. Whoa, 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 whoa. France yields. Becomes owner and controller of, of Madagascar. Wow. So, we actually get Madagascar even though it's controlled by Italy? No way. No way. That's so broken. That's so broken. That is so broken. 
Um, also, it's gonna fucking totally get invaded, like, right now, so... Enjoy, enjoy the freedom while it lasts, people of Madagascar. Enjoy the freedom while it lasts. Wow, we did it, though. We did it. It felt fucking bad, though. It really did feel bad. It, it was, yeah, no, mm, yeah. It was less than ideal. It was a little bit cheaty, I feel. I mean, it wasn't cheaty, but it was... It was... Not my, not my proudest moment. Not my proudest moment. Uh, construction engineering. Construction engineering. Why not? Why not? I mean, there's nothing else that I care about. Yeah, we're attacking into here, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna get anywhere. We're not, we can't get anywhere. We're suffering filthy amounts of attrition in, the, in these areas. Filthy amounts of attrition. The United States stands against fascism. Yes, and also, apparently, they also fucking support imperialist bastards who just take over continents. United Kingdom, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, you utter bellend. Fuck me, man. Production efficiency growth. Ah, get growth plus 25%. Right, well, this this video has already gone 10 minutes over schedule, so, wow, didn't even, didn't even notice. Uh, do you want to be in my faction? Oh, you totally want to be in my faction. They're already in a faction. Fuck. Fuck. Could you not be in the faction? China is feeling threatens of us. China wants to contain the aggression of the British Raj. I'm going to improve relations in the dim hope that we can eventually become in the same faction. But I don't even know if you can. Anyway, ladies and gents, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.